The switch hitter bats right-handed. And the first pitch is a strike from Brent Herter. And we're underway here in Lakeland. 3-1 pitch is a little low. 3-2 again. Outside, ball four. One-two pitch on the way. Runner bluffs at second. Swing and a miss at the plate, and the inning's finally over. Three strikeouts for Yuli. I feel really old when you hear 21 years in the Yankees, <laughs> but, uh, but I love it here, and uh, it's exciting. He fly ball to right field. That one's carrying, and it's gone. A home run for Marcos Cabrera. Goes the opposite way. That ball kept on going. I mentioned the strong breeze out to right field. It got up there. And Marcos Cabrera gives Rachel an early lead here in the top of the second. Let's take another look at that. Cabrera getting it, getting it high in the air into that wind stream. Back goes De La Cruz, runs out of real estate. Up the middle, a line shot. Base hit for Siegler on the first pitch from Herter. Let's see what he can do with a 3-2 pitch. Swinging and a miss. So a solo home run by Marcos Cabrera gives the Tarpons an early 1-0 lead. Season. How, how good is that? It was a shot to deep right field, and boy, that one was out when it left the bat. <laughs> no doubt about that one. Chris Myers ties this game up with one blast to right field. He didn't need the win to push that one out. Did not need the win, unfortunately. <laughs> Rachel Balkovic, we're seeing her reaction to picture in picture, and not what you want to see. Take another look at that one. He jumped right on a fastball, looks like from Yuli, and did not miss it. But yeah, Nick, certainly um, having some continuity with the staff and, and uh, eating and doing all the things that, that we think are going to make him a successful major league player in the future and in different ways, whether it's through the music that they listen to, um, you know, in the weight room and, and all those types of things. So it just, it's just another way to really help you connect. De La Cruz makes his way to third base as that fly ball got over the head of Grant Richardson into that jet stream, kept carrying over his head and one hop the wall. Ion, a draft pick from last season, as that pitch, I believe, hits the leg, it does, of Lazaro Benitez. So he'll take first base on a hit by pitch, but one out. And a ball lifted to shallow center field. Backing is Cowles. Coming on is Richardson, who calls him off to make the catch. Tagging, trying to score. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline and scoring the go-ahead run. Are the Flying Tigers. It's 2-1 Lakeland. Time. Runner goes, throw down to second base, and it's tripling into center field. Heading for third now. Dominguez will loft it in. And going first to third is Benitez than what we were expecting. And, um, My ball to center field. One, two. Tapper towards short, towards the middle. Off the heel of the mid of Sakara. It goes into right center field. And coming on to pick it up is De La Cruz, but Cabrera reaches base for the second time. One, two. Chopper towards the middle. Another test for Sakara. This one he grabs. Fires the first, and it's in time to a stretching Myers who kept his foot on the bag for out number three. First question, obviously, how's it going so far? Well, uh, we're losing, but <laughs> it's a tight ball game, and uh, we had some good things happen already, so we're still in it. How about that home run by Marcos Cabrera? What was your reaction to I'm that? I'm so happy for him. He, he, uh, he needed that. He earned it. He's worked really hard uh, in spring training. Just so happy for him. And what have you seen from Tyrone Yuli tonight? He's battled. You know, we, we uh, obviously there's a a bit of a bomb hit there um, and just came back and, and battled through that inning and he's looking good. And now of course today being you know a historic day uh, your parents are here in town and just tell me really quick the, mo the emotions you're feeling being here being a manager of a ball club uh, what are you feeling right now? Just feeling grateful you know I, I know there's a lot of young women in the stands and it feels incredibly um, wonderful to be a visible idea for them and just feeling grateful for the women who've come before me and, and for the Yankees for giving me this opportunity. Man, uh, I know regardless if it's a, 
low-A baseball game, they want to win. They want to beat somebody, and they want to be behind their pitcher and, and, and support them. And The 0-2. Ooh. Gets behind the, ba the batter, and the catcher, Gomez, fires to second too late. 2-2. Two -two. And that spiked. Gets behind Gomez, and on the third goes the base runner, Myers. 1-1. Rounder at first base through the legs of Garcia. And a run will score. Runner was off on contact. Would have been a tough play. The one, two. Tapper right side. Long run for Cowles. Gets it. Fires and he got him. Pitch from Pena. Curveball way upstairs. And there's a leadoff walk. Nice start to the inning. That's the green light here. Up and in, ball four. A four-pitch walk, and the Tarpons are in business. Three-two, and it's low ball four. Pena tried to fool Dominguez with a breaking ball. But the three-one. Liner into right center field. The base hit's going to roll towards the gap and all the way to the wall. One run will score. Two runs will score. Here comes Dominguez. He'll cross the plate standing up. Heading into third is Antonio Gomez with a go-ahead three-run triple into the right center field gap. Gomez with a hard hit into the gap. De La Cruz in right, couldn't catch up to it quick enough. It goes all the way to the wall. Dominguez from first scores with ease. 3-2 offering. Swing and a miss. He pulls the swing and gets Garcia to end the inning. Hard hit left field and into the corner. That's trouble. Green will pursue it up against the wall. Heading for second is Sequeira. He will drop anchor there with a stand-up double. And the Flying Tigers have the tying run on base. The 2-2. Hard hit. Shortstop leaps. It's just over the middle of Vargas. Collected by Green. And stopping at third is Sequeira. He had to freeze with the potential of that ball being caught by Vargas from Malam and it's low ball four so a four pitch walk will load the bases and like Tampa did last half inning and a ball floating the left field and shallow coming on is green he will not get there in time one run will score here's a throw to the plate it is in time they gun down Campos at the plate but Sakara does score to tie the game it's an RBI single for Myers into shallow left field and we are knotted at four. We'll take another look as Green couldn't quite get there in time, but he does an excellent job getting to the ball and throwing it to the plate. Tag applied by Gomez on Campos for out number two. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. He got him in a pump of the fist by Gomez, the catcher. Leadoff batter gets hit by a pitch. It's Grant Richardson. And the next pitch is fouled off by Jason Dominguez. The pitch. There's a ooh, ball four. Looked pretty close. I think even Vargas thought it was going to be called a strike. A 3-2. Check swing. He lays off the breaking ball, and it's ball four. 2-0. Crushed. Deep to right field. Kiss that one goodbye. If it's fair, it's gone, and boy, is that gone. It's a grand slam. Anthony Garcia. Crushes one to right field. Tampa is back on top. It's eight to four. Tarpons here in the seventh inning. The six foot five, 204 pound Anthony Garcia with an absolute blast. Let's take a closer listen to this contact Garcia makes. Oh, my. We'll count offer is a way ball four. So a one-out base runner brings up Campos, who went one for three so far. Go. One out and the pitch. 
Liner to the middle of the infield, the, the uh, outfield, I should say. And a base hit for Campos. His second hit of the evening. The 2 2. Ground ball to second. Cowles to his right, gathers, fires on in time. And Kenji Montes gets the job done, escaping the jam. The Richardson is outside ball four. 2 2 pitch. Liner towards the left field side and through for a base hit. And there's the first hit of the night for Jason Dominguez. Goes the other way as a left-handed bat finds the hole between short and third. The 0-1 towards the middle of the infield. Measuring the hop is Santana, who will take him to the bag himself for the force out to end the end. The 2-2. Hard hit left field and over the head of Green. He goes back and plays it up against the wall. Green fires it into the infield. Here's a play at the second base bag, and he is safe. 0-1 towards the shallow right center grass, and it falls for a base hit. Rounding third, trying to score Benitez. Here's a throw to the plate. It's cut off, and it's an RBI single for Christian Santana. Santana's second RBI of the night. 2-2. High pop up on the infield. Back foul ground behind the plate. The catcher Gomez, and it's a catch by the pitcher. A lunging grab by Montas himself. Nellis up and away ball four. Up the middle, there's a base hit. Garcia rounding second. He will stop there. Watching the throw come in from Campos. And a double steal. Pitches high. Throw to third. It's in the left field. Rounding third is scoring Garcia. Here's a throw to the plate. Not in time. Staying at second is Cowles. Balkovic rolls the dice. Calls a double steal. She's all smiles as it works to her favor. And the Tarpons add a run. Chopper third base side. Coming on Pacheco. Fields and fires. And a stretching grab by Myers will end the inning. Top of the ninth, and here we are 9-5. to five. Here's a ground ball to third, softly hit coming on as Cabrera fields, and he won't make the throw. Very tough play on the infield grass. It'll be an infield single for De La Cruz. 1-2. Rounder towards second could do it. Cowles gets through, and in the right field, the runner will score from second, and the game is still alive. Howells coming on to field the ground ball. It goes under his mitt. Pitch by Messenger. Swing and a miss. And that's your ball game. Bigby goes down for the fourth time tonight. Messenger records the save. Tampa and Rachel Balkovic picks up a opening night victory.